Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to hide a tablix or table based on the amount of rows returned for that table. So if a, if a particular table is not going to return any rows, um, it's sometimes better to hide that table completely rather than just have it sitting there as a header. I'll also show you using the same logic how we can hide other tables or objects based on the row count of a particular table. So on screen, let me quickly go through the makeup of this report. So this report's got three tablixes here and each of those tablixes use uh, a different data set as you can see on the left hand side. The data is coming from AdventureWorks and each of these data sets is using the same parameters here that I've created, start date and end date, to filter the data returned. So if I look at the first one here, and this is the one that returns most data, as a, as a slight addition, I've said return me just the top 15. So we're only ever going to get 15 rows. And that just makes it a little bit easier to kind of do the demonstration. But there's my filter. Only show me the data where the start date is between these dates. And the same with the all levers. Only show me the data where the end date is between these dates. And the same with the CVs data set. So, <clears throat> a quick demonstration of the report. Then if I just choose preview. It's going to show the data um, and I've put a different color for each of these tablets is it just make it a little bit easier to do the demonstration if I change my parameters here we shouldn't get any data in the bottom data set okay so if I rerun this so we've got limited data here we've got two rows but this bottom one doesn't have any rows and it's this point here where maybe it's sensible not to show the table at all because right now you've got the table and it doesn't have any any rows be below it so it's it's a pointless table so if we go back to design here if we highlight our tablets and we right click our tablets then um, if we've got the tablets properties We've got this option of visibility. Now we've looked at visibility before when it comes to filtering rows and columns. Um, I will put a link to a, a video that I've previously done that shows you how to show and hide columns and rows depending on um, data and setup. Anyway, for this, we're looking at the whole tablet's visibility. So I click on visibility. We've got this option at the top here that says always show, always hide, or here, show or hide, based on an expression and that's what we want to do so we'll click on that and click on this little expression fx button here it takes us to this expression window now what we need to do is create some logic that says um that's going to return either true or false and it's important to note that this says set the expression for hidden so where this is true we're going to hide the tablets and it just sometimes takes me a second to find this but at the bottom here we've got these common functions and again i've done a video on common functions and i'll put a, a link to that video in the description um within these common functions we've got something if i can find it here in the aggregate we've got something called count rows and what count rows does <coughs> does is it by default it will count the current data sets rows so in on this tablet the data set is dscvs you can see it there next to the fields in brackets so if i double click on here and i just put a, a an end bracket here that count rows is going to count the amount of rows in the current data set which like i said is dscvs and i'm going to say count rows equals zero and this then is saying uh if count rows equals zero then hide my um tablets so i'm going to click ok and click ok on that and if we choose preview and i'll change this to be uh, what we did before which i think was 2008 to 2011 and what should happen now is there you go so at the bottom there's no rows to show in that tablet and so it's going to it's it's hiding it now there's a couple more things we can do here so we're not limited to um using count rows against the current data set 
So let me then click on this top one here. Uh, we'll go to Tablix properties like we did before. Go to visibility, and we'll go to show hide based on an expression. And now, if we go to the expression again, go to common functions, go to aggregate, and here we have the count rows again. Now I've just double clicked on that. So by default, like I said, it's going to look at the the current data set, which is DSR employees. But actually, what I'm thinking is I want to hide this tablix if there's no rows in another data set. So here I've got this DSCVs data set, I've got DSR leaders and DSR employees. What I want to do is I'm going to use the DSCVs, which is actually what the other um, hidden expression was using as well. So in here, do a square, um, uh, double quotes, and we type in the name of our data set. And then we just complete it by saying the count rows in this data set equals zero. Click OK. Click OK. And if we now preview this, if we change this to be 2008 to 2011, perfect. So although we know there's rows getting returned in the top tablets, it's been hidden because there's no rows in the bottom tablets, the DSCVs data. And let's try and do one last thing. So this middle one here, uh, I'm just going to I'm just going to change this to show. So this middle one here is showing two rows when we put that filter in. So what I'm going to say is, go to tablets properties, let's go to visibility, show or hide, and we can say um, common functions, aggregate count rows and we can say hide if um, the row count is less than three now this is going to be turned when we do our our parameters it's going to be turned two rows so it should hide it so let's try this we'll change our parameters this should then hide that table Perfect. It's also hidden the bottom one because we said if there's no rows, it'll hide. Now, just to kind of prove the logic, let's go back to this tablet here. Go to visibility and change that to say hide if there's less than two rows. Now, we know there's two rows, so it shouldn't hide it. So let's just try that just to prove that finally. Okay. Yeah, good. And there we can still see the data because there isn't less than two rows. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Um, any comments or feedback would be appreciated. Thanks for your time. See you next time.